20,000 pounds of highly dangerous metallic sodium head for destruction in Lake Lenore, Washington. The government surplus chemical ignites and explodes when wet. The alkali lake is devoid of fish and forms an admirable disposal spot. A 3,500-pound container of sodium hurtles into the lake and crashes through a foot of ice. As the water seeps in, smoke rises through a series of muffled explosions. The acrid clouds billow several thousand feet over the steep sides of the lake. Disposal of the chemical by the War Assets Administration is made necessary because no public carrier will accept it for transportation to a purchaser. One after another, with varying effects, the containers go up with spectacular results as water and sodium meet. A once lethal war chemical becomes a peacetime pyrotechnic display. 20,000 pounds of highly dangerous metallic sodium head for destruction in Lake Lenore, Washington. The government surplus chemical ignites and explodes when wet. The alkali lake is devoid of fish and forms an admirable disposal spot. A 3,500-pound container of sodium hurtles into the lake and crashes through a foot of ice. As the water seeps in, smoke rises through a series of muffled explosions. The acrid clouds billow several thousand feet over the steep sides of the lake. Disposal of the chemical by the War Assets Administration is made necessary because no public carrier will accept it for transportation to a purchaser. One after another, with varying effects, the containers go up with spectacular results as water and sodium meet. A once lethal war chemical becomes a peacetime pyrotechnic display.